Hi everyone, my name is Joel Silva and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Let's talk about publishing workflows. First of all, let's create a simple workflow. Right here, we have two inputs, which are two Excel files, the first employee countries and the second employee cities. Both of them has three fields, which are name, country and ID for employee countries and name, city, and ID for employee cities. So let's just do a join between these two datasets using the key field as ID. Let's uncheck the duplicated fields and just put a browse tool on the J output from join. So let's run it. And as we can see here, we have four records displayed. So we are workflow creators and we can follow these steps to save designer workflows to the gallery to share with other users. First, we just need to click right here on file and then save as private gallery and select the gallery you want to save to probably your company's gallery if you are not signed in to the gallery you are prompted to do so here we are already logged in in the save workflow window, customize the workflow name as you want to save it in the gallery. Let's name that test 2. The location displays the gallery studio where you are saving the workflow. The work tag details and workflow options are optional settings and doesn't need to be configured. The worker tag option is used to select a worker tag to determine which worker runs the workflow when it is applicable. In details, you can enter comments. Other users can see these comments in the version history. And in workflow options, we have three configuration settings. Validation checks if there are prohibited tools or commands. If validation fails, the workflow requires an exception to run in your company's gallery. Contact your gallery admin to request that they change the run mode for your workflow if necessary. Next one manage workflow assets select to manage the assets associated with the workflow uncheck an asset to omit it from the workflow package normally the assets are data connections inputs and output files a good practice is just check these assets when you know that the asset itself will not be changed it will be always the same and the group assets by tool right here is used to select group assets to display all the assets grouped with the tool they are connected to. For this specific workflow, let's assume that the input files will not be changed in the future. So let's just leave this inputs check it and then 
we can just click on done button and the last option is enable workflow locking select to view locking options for the workflow if you want to lock your work restrict used to specific serial numbers when selected only the serial numbers or email address in the list can use the locked workflow to enable a workflow to run on the gallery you have to list the serial number for the gallery which is the default gallery administrator set expiration for locked workflow when selected users can no longer run or access the workflow on the selected date or you can just select no expiration date date or you can just choose no expiration date option check the box to acknowledge the implications of locking your workflow and then if you want to do that just click in done but be careful when using that because the workflow locking it's a very specific configuration you use it in very specific cases by default it's not recommended to do that contact your gallery admin to analyze if this is really necessary in our case here we will not locking this workflow so we will uncheck this checkbox and click on done and finally the last step is to click on save. The validation process will run and after that we can see that the workflow has been published in the gallery. So let's see the gallery. Let's click on our private studio right here. And we can see the test to workflow here. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.